everyone. This is Muthu Priyadarshini from Government Model Girls High Secondary School, Marachanallu. Today's news headlines. Rishikesh B.S., who leads the hub for education, law and policy at Azim Premji University, says, Remote schooling has severely impacted students from disadvantaged and vulnerable backgrounds. Serving on several government advisory committees formed to chalk out an education map and also implement the new education policy, the professor talks of various fallouts of the remote schooling. According to sources, Secretary Blinken's visit to India reciprocates External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jayashankar's visit to the US in May this year. During the visit from July 27 to 28, the regional security situation, the need for sustained pressure on Pakistan terror financing and terror heavens, economic slowdown, defense and security as well, focus on COVID-19 assistance are among other issues on the table to be discussed. An occupational therapist has developed a basin brochure for COVID-19 affected children with breathing difficulties. The therapy breathing activities for pediatric COVID-19 patients is an interesting collection of play activities that children can perform at home. Daughter's idea. Chandigarh man who gives free chola bature to vaccine takers. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on his radio broadcast Man Ki Baat mentioned Sanjay Rana's initiative of offering free chola bature to anyone who can show the proof of vaccination against COVID-19 on the same day. Six Indian sites vying on the spot for UNESCO World Heritage List. India already has 38 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Here, it's hoping that a simple complex, burial sites, a tiger reserve and more can be added to the list. Why play is an integral part of a child's early years? Play-based learning stimulates brain development through various hands-on activities which render freedom to the child to imagine, explore, experience, create and more importantly, make errors. To create a comfortable space for children who have to lodge complaints, the Delhi Police launched child-friendly centers at 11 police stations in the Northwest District with officials saying this will help make the process less daunting and allow children to interact with police officers and seek legal help without fear. New Delhi Ace Shetler and Rio Olympic silver medalist PV Sindhu opened her campaign in the Tokyo Olympics on Sunday with an easy win against Senia Polikarbova of Israel. Weightlifter Mirabai Chanu had opened her India's medal on day 2 with a silver. After a week of heavy rainfall, Mumbai on Saturday woke up to a sparkly sunny sky with IMD Santa Cruz Observatory recording light rainfall at 5.9 mm in the last 24 hours. Thank you everyone.